Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess, and today I wanted to talk about the Pokemon Longshot collab um, that released this morning. I thought I'd let you guys know about it just in case you wanted to snag something. Um, if you're into shopping, or if you're a shopaholic, or if you're not, you just like watching my videos, please like and subscribe uh, because you might love my channel. Anyway, so this morning. Um, I looked at the Longchamp website and there's like this really cool Pokemon collab and I've never bought a Longchamp bag before and I don't think I'm going to buy anything from this collab because I'm kind of on shopping ban <laughs> but um, also it's kind of expensive but I thought I'd show you guys the bags anyway in case like you're a big Pokemon fan or maybe you you know you've been good this year and you wanted to treat yourself this could be something you could get so um, I'm really digging the top handle bag X S so it's a really mini uh, top handle bag I think it's based on the La Pliage tote bag which is like I think Longchamp's most recognizable tote bag I've never had a Longchamp bag myself but I remember in uni a lot of people were carrying those bags um, and yeah, super cute bag. I love the white version. It also comes in the black and the red. Red was also really cute too. Um, and there's a little embossed Pikachu on it. So it's just a subtle, you know, Pokemon vibe, but very cute. And if you wanted to really ham home the Pokemon vibe, I definitely also get the little uh, Pikachu keychain that um, ha he has a little leather cap on. I think that's very sweet as well. That one is around $200 and the bag is $9.35. So it's not cheap, but um, I think usually these bags are around the $700 mark. So they've definitely amped up the price because it's a collab, which, you know, annoying, but you're paying for that little Pikachu embossing. So that's that. Um, I'm also loving the uh, shoulder bag L. So it's just a black like canvas shoulder bag with a little Pikachu on it very cute looks a bit like a very practical style um, I think you could just nip out to the shops with this and it's a pretty friendly price point $2.90 so I think this would be a really nice gift um, and just something you could definitely just wear all the time I mean you always need a tote bag whether it's for work or school or yeah anything really um, you can also get a backpack. It's like a leather backpack. I think this looks very nice as well. If you wanted a fancy backpack for school, maybe get this Longchamp one. It's 1160 so yeah, I probably wouldn't wear this to school myself, but I mean, it's very cute and it has the embossed Pikachu on it and a little red handle in the black colorway. Um, and I think you can get some other colors as well. Yes, you can also get it in the red color with a black handle, very sweet, or the white colorway with a red handle. So I love the contrast of the white and the red. And yeah, I like how they have a little bit of a contrast there. It's definitely like, you know, Pokemon colors, like a Pokeball kind of vibe I'm getting from this. There's also some printed bags, so it's like a black and white kind of text in the back and then little Pikachus all over the bag. I'm not a huge fan of that print, it looks a bit messy. Definitely more of a Pikachu vibe to these than the embossed Pikachu, but I just don't love that print. It's very like, I don't know, I just don't like it. I much prefer the full leather versions. There's even a little belt bag you can get, which could be good for traveling. That's $495, but it's in that really uh, weird print. So I probably wouldn't go for that myself. Um, I'm loving the extra small bag, the backpack, and the, the, the just the black shoulder bag. They're my faves, and I absolutely love that Pikachu keychain. I think that is a very cute. Um, and... You can even get some travel bags, which is cool. Uh, let's have a look. Even if you just wanted the cosmetics case, I think that could be nice. It's 160. It's in that kind of ugly print, but I do like this because it has a little like, um, like dangle on the on the little zipper tab. So it's got some nice touches. I think this kind of suits the cosmetic case because it. It kind of looks like a cosmetic case print, so it kind of works for this, I think. And the Pikachus are really cute. He's doing all these little poses. Very nice. Um, also, I've been really obsessing over, like, Louis Vuitton <laughs> again, as usual, but more of the older collections. So because in the 
2021 summer collection I saw a lot of silver bags I started looking at the Mirage collection uh, from like the 2000s and I was looking at the Papillon bag again um, because I love the Papillon but I don't have the Papillon because I always I don't know which one to get there's so many like limited edition ones and just like sizes and the mirror one is really cute I think it's a size 26 um, and I love the silver, but the problem with the pre-loved ones, a lot of them have cracking because it's a patent leather and I find there's a lot of cracking around the zip. So I haven't been able to find one in good condition and they're still really expensive even when they're in bad condition. Um, I'm also loving the watercolor Papillon lately. I love how that's a size 30, so it has a longer shoulder um, kind of a strap so you can wear it on your shoulder as opposed to just top handle and because it's got more of that black kind of coloring to it I think it'd be a little bit easier to maintain like the color over time and probably a bit easier to style I also absolutely love the Papillon 26 in the cherry blossom print in the full pink um, I've wanted that for a while but I, I always see them they're very discolored and I have never found a really pristine one and even if I found a pristine one I would I think I'd be too scared to use it because I'd want to keep it pristine so absolutely love that one too but these are just things on my radar which I haven't actually I don't know if I'm going to get get it ever really um, because I, I've even been into like um, the Catagram collection I have a little Twilly from the Catagram collection but I would love a bag even though they I think they're selling for a premium these days um, you know sometimes if you find um, locally someone might be selling something from a limited collection limited edition collection sometimes you can find things for like under the retail so if I was going to buy anything from the Catagram collection um, in terms of a bag I'd want to get it for under retail because it was already really expensive in store but love the Catagram collection as well these are just things I've been thinking of in lockdown which I would love to have in the future but I already have too many bags so it's kind of silly to do that and um, I haven't even been able to wear my bags much this year. I like kind of dusted my whole room yesterday which I think I should definitely do more often because it was a very dusty and I just kind of put my bags in this area now which I'm I'm liking. I used to have shoes here but now I've put my shoes um, over where my bags used to be so I think that looks pretty cute it's got some shoes here and now it looks like I actually have a bit more space for for bags but uh, I really don't need to buy any more but um, I think these it would be cute if I could have them out just on display but it gets really dusty in my room so I actually need to put the dust bags on my bags that I use more often like pretty much the Louis Vuitton ones I can kind of just use like especially in lockdown I haven't been using the Chanel bags mainly just like the little pochettes and stuff so yeah that's this is what my collection's looking like this is more my um my non-designer bags down here just a little clutch and some stuff but yeah so yeah, these are just things I thought I'd share with you guys in case, you know, maybe we have similar tastes and you've been really good and you can treat yourself, then, I mean, yeah. <laughs> They're just bags that I like. Um, I even really love the Chanel 19. That's also a bag on my radar, but that is just way too expensive right now, so, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!